you will be surprised to know that today we are going to discuss about the last part of chapter 10 work and energy while making this e lecture spontaneously it comes in my mind that how the lengthier most chapter of ours that is chapter 9 is followed by shortest chapter that is chapter 10 work and energy so dear students the remaining forms of energy that is light energy sound energy and electrical energy will be discussed in this e lecture good morning dear students how are you all ready to learn science with me let's go in previous e lecture we discussed about mechanical energy and its two subtypes that is potential energy and kinetic energy. I am again taking it to revise to omit your confusion. The energy, if someone asks what is mechanical energy, your answer will be the energy possessed by an object due to its position or motion. Is called mechanical energy. You can also conclude in this way that mechanical energy is of two type. One is potential energy, another is kinetic energy. And how we can define or differentiate between these two energy, mechanical energy? First one, potential energy. Energy possessed by an object due to the position of an object or when an object is at rest the energy possessed by that object is known as the potential energy for example a lying stone ek patthar pada hai us patthar mein jo energy bhari hui hai that is potential energy ya fir uh, water stored in a dam or water in the pond all these are at rest and the energy possessed by in, in such situation by the object is potential energy. Now this is the turn to explain the kinetic energy. The energy possessed by an object due to its motion. For example, water is flowing in a river and in this case the water is having the kinetic energy. If you are running you are using your kinetic energy for that activity. So, dear students, this is all about the mechanical energy and its two subtypes, potential and kinetic energy and the definition of all the three. These two energies are very much important. That's why I want to discuss with you by putting forward some more example. Dear students, if you are sitting at the desk in your classroom, do you know which type of energy out of these two you are using to grab your topic? Can you tell me? Answer is potential energy because you are at rest. And your teacher is moving here and there in the classroom. Which type of energy is utilized by her? or him to explain the topic to you that is the kinetic energy because uh, your teacher is in motion so one more example what about the energy possessed by moving bus that is kinetic energy what about the raised hammer energy potential energy and what about the moving aeroplane that is having the kinetic energy. So, it's time to revise again all the six forms of energy given in our book. Mechanical energy, heat energy, chemical energy, light energy, sound energy and electrical energy. Out of six, three were done by us already. That is mechanical, heat and chemical. The remaining three light, sound and electrical will be discussed today. 
observe the picture carefully shown here to you a potted plant is utilizing the light energy of the sun for the process of photosynthesis and the girl is utilizing the light energy given by the bulb to read the book but think about the situation during the day which source of light energy is used by the girl to read the content given in the book is there any guess from your side definitely your answer is sun because sun is the main source of light energy on the earth and this light energy is used by us to read the book or to observe all the situations present around us and this same light energy by the sun is used by the plant to synthesize their food it means that we can conclude the sources of light into two categories one are the natural sources another are the artificial sources of light natural source of light energy is the sun there and all the stars and the artificial sources varies bulb leds torch etc now i am going to read the text given in our book sun is the main source of light energy it is sunlight that help us to see things during the day light energy of the sun is used by green plants to make their food tube lights electric bulbs lasers and leds are some of the man made sources of light do you agree yes now if someone ask dear student give two uses of light energy what will be your answer two uses of light energy number 1 light energy is used to see the things present around us and second green plants you used light energy to perform the process of photosynthesis now this is the time to discuss about a do you know given at page number 162 solar cells change light energy into electricity they are often used in electric electronic devices such as the calculators their main use is in space where they are used to power the satellites what is the conclusion conclusion is that have you ever see the cell present in your wrist watch a small button cell and this button cell is having the ability to convert the light energy coming from the sun into electrical energy and that energy is responsible to run your wrist watch likewise calculators even the solar cells present in the solar panels nowadays these solar panels or cells are used to run the satellites that are sent into the space now dear students it is now clear to you that how the solar cell are able to convert light energy of the sun into the various forms of energy again i'm going to show you a picture here sound is a form of energy think about the morning assembly when a drum is beaten by a student to produce sound energy and how this is produced this is produced when we allowed a stressed membrane to vibrate to hit that membrane with the stick sound is a 
form of energy and it is produced when an object vibrates so jab drum beating karte hain to us pe lagi hui membrane vibrate karti hai jiski wajah se sound energy produce hoti hai when we strike a drum with drumsticks we produces which energy sound energy it vibrates and produce sound but dear students sound may affects you in two ways if the sound is not too much loud or you can say musical in nature it is enjoyed by you it leaves a pleasing effect on you but if a loud and noisy sound is there it produces a jarring or very disturbing effect on you in this way we can say the sound energy affects us in two ways sometime it is pleasing one and sometime it is disturbing one this is all about the sound energy now this is the turn to discuss about the most इनडिस्पेंसेबल फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी ऐसी एनर्जी जिसका कोई अल्टरनेट नहीं है इफ दिस एनर्जी इज नॉट अवेलेबल टू अस नाउ अ डेज वी फील लाइक वेन अ पर्सन फील विदाउट द एयर टू ब्रीथ एंड दैट फॉर्म ऑफ एनर्जी इज इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी बट बिफोर डूइंग अ डिस्कशन ऑन इलेक्ट्रिकल एनर्जी लेट्स डिस्कस आर डू यू नो given at page number 163 this do you know is all about the principle of conservation of energy and what is this principle or law that is one form of energy can be converted into another form of energy the total sum of the energy present in the universe is constant it can neither create nor destroy this is all about if if i'm putting forward an example before you about that think about which form of energy is given by you to a fan that is electrical energy and after giving electrical energy to the fan the fins present in the fan start moving it means the electrical energy is convert converted there into mechanical energy likewise if you are providing electrical energy to an iron that energy electrical energy convert into heat energy in this way in many devices one form of energy is converted there into another form and that is utilized by us in our day to day life now we are going to discuss about the electrical energy given there in our book you are observing a drawing room of a family and how many devices are operated here with the help of this electrical energy television electric fan a lamp and a bulb all these run on one form of energy that is electrical energy and that's why it is the most indispensable form of energy nowadays what is the content given in our book i'm going to read it is now difficult to all of us to imagine a life without electricity in our day to day life electricity is used to run different electrical devices or appliances like fans leds tube lights and motors do we agree all these devices run on electricity we use electric energy to produce heat heat energy in geyser light energy in bulbs sound energy in radio or television and motion in fan for example we use again the examples are given there for example we use electric energy in a geyser to get hot water an electric bulb lights up when an electric current flows through it an electric bell 
produces sound when electricity flows through it the motion of the blades of fan or the wheels of an electric train is also due to electrical energy so dear students you can realize how much important this form of energy is nowadays in our life so save it and utilize it judiciously keep converting one form of energy into another form of energy but never do the misuse of any form of energy we are moving towards the activity number 2 of our chapter given at page number 163 this is all about what you are asked there look around your household identify various items or appliances which utilized which utilize various forms of energy and categorize these items in tabular form according to the form of energy used by them we will further discuss about this activity in our live class so that you can grab the examples well now before winding up the chapter there is something from my side for you dear students use your energy and do something creative every day Thank you for joining me. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.